If I give you the photograph, how do I know you will not come after me? Mr. Holmes, you are not a threat. The local authorities owe me favors. For all your confidence, you cannot actually harm me. Besides, I like you and your approach to business. We are not dissimilar. Pragmatists to a fault. Indeed, I cannot ignore the just outcomes in what you have proposed. All right, take the photograph. <laughs> you are a hard man to read, Mr. Holmes. I couldn't tell if you actually had it. Fear not. This decision will bear its fruits soon enough. One more thing, Mr. Holmes. Now that I have the photo, you may as well take Mr. Mercurio's painting back to the gallery. Please, send my apologies. Mr. Holmes, you've returned. Have you uncovered anything new about the theft? I've brought news, but not all of it will please you. Fill me in, Mr. Holmes. I won't shoot the messenger. I tracked down Boniface Mercurio. I presume he wasn't delighted about the situation. He was not having a good day on account of his murder killed in his own flat by the same person that stole his painting. Oh, sweet Mercurio, perishing in the pursuit of his art. How apt. I will miss his exceptional sense of humor. I located the thief, but found him rather cold. He was tight-lipped about the painting, too. Huh, he's dead. How very droll, Mr. Holmes. One presumes you were not responsible. It was an accident at the refugee camp. He impaled himself on his own knife. Life is nothing if not cruel and capricious. What about the stolen painting? Have you located it? Yes, it's here. Splendid! I'm most grateful, Mr. Holmes. It must have been a difficult task. Will you share your adventures with me? I cannot, Mr. Vogel. The story is much like your undergallery. Not for everyone's eyes and ears. So sometimes you do hide the truth. What has happened to your crusade? I'm not on a crusade. I simply do not owe you the story. It was not an attack, Mr. Holmes. If you've chosen to keep secrets, I'll respect it. Besides, the truth is often more boring than the mystery. No? It is what it is, Mr. Vogel. Well, now that we've resolved all of our outstanding matters, I have a gift for you. I took the liberty of having it delivered to Stonewood Manor. I am told it belonged to your mother. And what exactly have you sent me? Frankly, I'm not sure how to answer that. I trust you'll know. Previously, you mentioned there may have been more to my mother's passing than consumption. It appears you were right. Oh, dear. I had hoped to be wrong. She was unstable, mentally unwell. She required sustained specialized treatment, but her madness persisted. I knew that Violet had disappeared from the public eye, but had no idea of her suffering. I cannot imagine what you're feeling. I'm fine. Thank you, Mr. Vogel. I am curious to see what you have procured. Not yet, Mr. Vogel. Mr. Holmes, you've returned. Have you uncovered anything new about the theft? I've brought news, but not all of it will please you. Fill me in, Mr. Holmes. I won't shoot the messenger. I tracked down Boniface Mercurio. I presume he wasn't delighted about the situation. I located the thief, but found him rather cold. What about the stolen painting? Have you located it? I found the painting, but I could not retrieve it. Well then, where is it? In Bernadotti's office. Bernadotti? That shady businessman? Why would he steal it from me? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him yourself. Hmm. 
I take it you found something more, then. I found the source of Mercurio's artistic inspiration. A photograph. What troubled me was that the sexual act captured was non-consensual. She was violated? Dear God, how despicable. Her abuser was in fact the British envoy. Mercurio took a picture of him committing the atrocity and then used it as... artistic inspiration. I had no idea a mere break-in would eventually expose such barbarity. Mr. Vogel, I want you to make everything public, including the photograph. I'm sure you have a connection at the Cordona Chronicle. Ah, uh, Mr. Holmes, loyal to your own truth till the end. Yes, I'm acquainted with the staff of the Chronicle. The story is sensational and will surely draw attention to the gallery. But you must be aware that exposing the scandal will further hurt the victim. Does that not bother you? No matter what one does, the truth tends to come out, as well it should. I won't be the one to stand in its way. Though it's only your subjective truth being exposed, not that I'm judging. It's perfectly reasonable for everyone to have their own views. When you called me, you knew exactly what you would get. Oh, but I'm not like you, Mr. Holmes. I cannot be sure of anything. Regardless, I must thank you, for art's sake. Well, now that we've resolved all of our outstanding matters, I have a gift for you. I took the liberty of having... Thank you, Mr. Vogel. I am curious to see what you have procured. Have you thought it all through? Almost. The refugees, what will happen to them? Well, I wouldn't be standing here in this fancy office if I didn't know how to pull the right strings. In fact, it's the only thing I know. The local governor will receive a decree signed by the House of Lords containing a request to patriate the refugees in the name of the Crown. From where did you gain such influence? I never asked you how you found the photograph. So don't ask the magician how he performs his tricks. But how can I believe you? Ugh. I presume you do believe in my selfishness. The initiator of the refugee salvation will be none other than the British envoy, saviour and protector of those in need. It's a win situation for me, too. Now, what about the photograph? You deserve to be punished, but the greater good is what matters here. I won't bargain it for justice for Nail. I'm glad that this situation is over. It will be over when you settle the matter of the refugees. You have my word, Mr. Holmes. 